Hi guys and welcome back to Sightench. Uh, in today's video, that's going to be second video, second pile cap video in which I'm going to show you the core cap and then after this I'm going to show you, probably see behind me, construction of the slip form and uh, as the slip form going up, uh, you will see it anyway in a minute. Guys, if you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and, and turn the notification on. So yeah, let's go, let's have a look at the core cap and the slip form construction. So that's guys uh, another core cup here uh, as I promised you I'm going to show you this and all the way up and the slip form assembly as well and then obviously a slip form going to go up as well so as you can see there is a waterproof product here I call it carpet the waterproof in here is done by Rascor so it's a little bit different uh, to what I was usually doing because uh, we are using waterproof uh, Padlo or Zypex or uh, I think it was uh, Caltide as well, they call it. So it's a few other solution about the waterproof. I'll show you this one and definitely show you other ones as well. You see the lines are marked here, and then you see the waterproofing around. The piles are done to the very good standard, I'd say. It. It's very good, and uh, yeah, that's it. The bottom still you can see the bottom one, bottom two, already in. They do the L bars here, so. Uh, rebar cut like previously I showed you on the previous video so showing the small caps all the same story really apart from uh, of course the waterproofing which is very important you need to keep an eye on it and then uh, you need to make sure that details are uh, done correctly so they're not going to be any mistakes as afterwards you it's remedials for the works like this very costly very expensive so you cannot uh, make any mistake here really so yeah, that's it. I show you later when they're gonna go up a bit, and then uh, when we're gonna, and when we're gonna set the walls. And that's it. What I want to show you. This is actually my friend Ella. I, I used to work with her before, so she's doing very good job here. I can see. I, I see it from side. Uh, if you look at this, I show you this. Uh, the shelf there is a very good practice. Uh, she got a laser set at the one level, so this is how you can avoid mistakes as well. Uh, it's, it's like I said before it's really easy even for other lads to have a look and she got the drawings as well so the people know what they do doing they can have a look uh, as this is very important communication is the key in our job so if the people know what they're doing there is a less chance of uh, making a mistake and uh, communication communication and once more communication guys because I see some people just marking the lines they're doing something and then only they know what they're doing and they, they're not transfer the information don't give in the information so yeah that's it okay let's go to the next step then uh, I want to show you that waterproof product you see it's like a it's actually like a carpet here but it got the layer it's it's a bit different I was using the bentonite when the when the bentonite mud is getting water it gets it's that's that's the where, where, where the waterproofing is this is a bit different type and I'll show you on the construction drawing series how it works and how they want it to be laid but that's how it looks it comes with the rolls in the rolls so the pile cap is being poured now uh, they're using the concrete pump for it you can have a look i hope you see the lines uh, the lines were marked on top of the steel for the walls and then rebar is already installed for the walls later after pour they're going to start setting the slip form and i'm going to show you this as well you see that waterproofing carpet is sticking out. It's ready to be spliced later when the when they're going to be continuation. So they're going to be slab or uh, it's going to go up with the walls and then uh, carries on with the slab. So that's it really. I'm going to show you after the pour how the finish looks. Uh, probably I'm going to show you the rust core waterproofing and we're going to go to the slip forms. So you see on my last video the smaller caps. I covered the smaller caps. Let's say. This is some of them, there were precast cages. You can see here they're using the P.E.K.K.A. feel. It's very good stuff, very good uh, beam for. We were using this one, the black one. But uh, I really like the P.E.K.K.A. feel. Uh, obviously it's more expensive. So uh, that's the core cup, it's already poured. You see the carpet. 
actually the waterproof is sticking out it's, it has to be spliced later and uh, you see the walls I show you the Rascore product here they install in as they're gonna be doing injections later and these injections they're gonna provide the waterproofing for the walls in this case so there's not a water bar it's not a water bar it's not the product I used to uh, I used to use and in most cases I believe you're gonna be using water bar it's just a Rascore so they're injecting their product into this and yeah that's making waterproofing so you see the walls and you see the slip form the slip form is getting in the position the lines are marked you see all nicely marked uh, so I'm gonna show you later I would go with the first pour and they lifting this and they're gonna be doing another deck uh, the bottom level I'd say and uh, I also show you how it gonna goes up and up so I think that's it really you can have a look it's a very nice system it then goes very quickly I'll show you this I'll show you also the one I was before on uh, in other job so I think you're gonna have enough information of course if you need to know more if you want to know more just ask me questions and I'll I'll tell you I'll help as much as I can